Curtain Call is a 360 degree immersive installation uh, specifically made for the roundhouse main space with an 80 foot silicone curtain that goes all the way around and we'll be projecting films made specially for this installation, uh, beautiful audio visual pieces. So we've got six live performances as part of Curtain Call in August 2016, starting with Matthew Herbert, who is doing a piece which is the, the launch of his new record, which is called A Nude. The next concert after that is Geica coming to the Roundhouse. Geica, as well as being a, an amazing musician, is also a filmmaker and designer, so I think he's going to come up with something that will be really unusual and very different and in a great contrast to the other artists that we've got performing as well. Eska is thinking a lot about um, how to use the space creatively. Yeah. So I think it's really exciting chance to see Eska do what Eska does so well already in a really new way. Dan Deacon, for anybody who's seen any of his shows, is kind of a natural choreographer as much as he is a musician working with the audience. Um, and he's got some really interesting ideas about how the evening's going to uh, play out. And I'm sure he's going to um, add some mischief to, to the bill as well. So the LCO of the London Contemporary Orchestra are long-term collaborators with the Roundhouse. They've worked with some really high-profile collaborators before, but what's really exciting is that there's two brand new commissions as well, from two female composers who are really hot right now, Chains and Mika Levy. We're very excited that the um, BBC decided to bring one of their proms to the Roundhouse this year. Obviously there is a history of, of classical and contemporary classical music at the Roundhouse going back to the 60s, so that's a real honour and privilege for us. We all wanted to take the opportunity of using this amazing, bespoke, newly created space for the Roundhouse as a performance space as well as an installation. And I think we're very enthusiastic about asking audiences to come out of their comfort zone of what they would normally expect for a gig and actually see this as a performance within an installation. I think if I'd never been to the Roundhouse before, this would be an ideal opportunity because you're not only getting the sense of the space, but the kind of most innovative kind of uh, content and uh, digital experience, as well as, you know, some fantastic live music that you won't see anywhere else.